Mr. Speaker, this morning I'd like to share with honorable colleagues information about the recent graduation event at the Bermuda College and provide details of this incredible class of 2022. Mr. Speaker, like most universities and colleges, commencement represents the culmination and highlight of the academic year for Bermuda College. Bermuda College's commencement also marks the start of the graduation season for Bermuda. This year, for the first time since the pandemic, Bermuda College held a face-to-face -face ceremony. It returned to the big tent on its sports field with entrepreneur, author, and community activist, Ms. Kristen White, as the commencement speaker. The graduate's address was delivered by Ms. Solio Graham, a dual enrollment student from the Barclay Institute who received her Associate of Science in pre-med. Mr. Speaker, I'm proud to note that there were 93 graduates, with 47% of the class of 2022 graduating with honors, earning either merit, GPA of 3.0 to 3.49, or distinction, GPA, GPA of 3.5 to 4.0 status, with the Associates of Arts in Business Administration program producing the largest graduate group with 23 graduates. There was also one student, Isaiah Cabral, who earned both his associates in science and art in actuarial science and as associates in arts in business administration. Mr. Speaker, please indulge me in this time to share a number of the graduates for other programs represented on the graduation list, which includes from the Division of Arts and Science, the Associates of Arts in Art Design, eight graduates, Associate of Arts, 15 graduates, Associate of Arts, Early Childhood Education, two graduates, Associate of Arts and Science, two graduates, Associate of Science, three graduates, Associate of Science in Architectural, and I'm sorry, Actuarial Science, three graduates, Associate of Science Education, two graduates, and Foundation Diploma Program, UK, one graduate. From the Division of Business, Hospitality, and Technical Education, we have got a certificate for Accounting Technician, one graduate, Certificate in Applied Science Technology, five graduates, Certificate in Electrical Wiring Technology, two graduates. Certificate in Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Technology, two graduates. Certificate in Motor Vehicle Technology, two graduates. Certificate in Plumbing Technology, two graduates. Diploma in Culinary Arts, two graduates. Diploma in Food and Beverage Management, two graduates. Diploma in Heating, Ventilation, and Air Conditioning Technology, one graduate. Diploma in Plumbing Technology, two graduates. Associate of Applied Science in Culinary Arts, one graduate, Associate of Applied Science Hospitality Management, one graduate, Associate of Arts Business Administration, 23 graduates, Associate of Science Computer Information Systems, five graduates, and finally from the Division of Nursing and Allied Health, Associate of Science Nursing, five graduates, Associate of Science Pre-Health Science, one graduate, and Associate of Science Pre-Medical Science, one graduate. Mr. Speaker, I am most pleased to share that seven graduates are dual enrollment students who will be awarded associate's degrees, diplomas, or certificates before receiving their high school certificates later this month. I want Bermuda to know the names of our public school students who have done extremely well in this program. They are from the Barclay Institute, Jaden Anderson, Certificate in Applied Science Technology, Salio Graham, Associate in Science Pre-Med, Callan Richardson, Associate in Science Actuarial Science. From Cedar Bridge Academy, Jakai Barkley, Barkley, Certificate in Applied Science Technology, Raicha Simons, Diploma in Culinary Arts, Joshua Vera, Certificate in Applied Science Technology, and Aaron White, Certificate in Applied Science Technology. 254 awards were earned from PACE, the Professional and Continuing Education Division, including 73 City and Guilds Employability Skills Certificates, and 10 nursing certificate, assistant certificates, also from both senior public schools. Mr. Speaker, other outstanding award recipients include Most Outstanding Arts Graduate, Caleb and Leah Lee. Most Outstanding Actuarial Science Graduate, Isaiah, Isaiah Cabral. Most Outstanding Education Graduate, Malay Robinson. Most Outstanding Early Childhood Education Graduate, Marina Shaw. Most Outstanding Science Graduate, Salil Graham, who was a dual enroll enrollment student. Arts and Science Distinguished Dean's Award, Maya Pert. Overall Most Outstanding Division of Arts Science Award Graduate, Isaiah Cabral. Most Outstanding General Business Graduate, Rakai Boros. Most Outstanding Management Graduate, Amber Furtado. 
most outstanding accounting finance graduate, again, Isaiah Cabral, most outstanding information technology graduate, Josiah Johnson, most culinary arts graduate, Andura, Andura Ford, business and hospitality dean's award for excellence, Miguel Simas, most outstanding plumbing graduate, Takai Bell, most outstanding computer and program graduate, Jaden Anderson, again, another dual enrollment student, who happens to be the son of uh, member Anthony, uh, MP Anthony Richardson. No, I, I should say Jaden, Jaden, um, I'm sorry, apologies for that. Most outstanding materials and mechanics graduate, Aaron White, dual enrollment. Most outstanding electrical, electronics graduate, Jakai Berkeley, dual enrollment. Director of Nursing and Allied Health Leadership Award, Rhonda Lynn Tacklin. Excellence in Clinical Nursing Practice Award, Riley Mello. Nursing Impact Award, Charlie Simmons and Wanda Trot Mori. Nursing Academic Achievement Award, Judith Shakir. And Applied Health Academic Achievement Award, Salil Graham, again, dual enrollment. Mr. Speaker, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the nine students who graduated with their bachelor's and master's degree through the partnerships Bermuda College has with Mount St. Vincent and Miami University, respectively. There are six Mount St. Vincent students who completed their Bachelor of Business Administration degrees in association with Bermuda College, and three students who completed their master's in special education with Miami University. Mr. Speaker, I ask that you and other members of the House join me in congratulating the Bermuda College class of 2022 who discovered and followed their path at Bermuda College. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.